We've all been there before. You meet a beautiful woman, you guys go out for a nice date, you're impressive the entire night. You get back to her place, she invites you in, you're ecstatic, there's an acoustic guitar in the corner, you know a few chords, you pick it up, maybe play a little something romantic. She's super impressed, conditions are perfect. Then out of nowhere, she will invariably ask you, how do you play an A minor nine chord? Of course, you're like, oh, I know how to play an A minor nine, it's easy. And then you just, you just sneak in like a A minor, but she's not fooled. She's like, nah, it's just an A minor. So you try, you try like, no, that's, a, that's an A minor seven. You're, you're, you're frantic. You're, oh, you play A major seven. You blew it. It's over. The moment has passed. I'm here today to teach you how to never have this happen again. There's a thousand chords. Some of them have ridiculous names. It's memorizing them is like terrible, terrible work. You get one of these books that you just go through and there's like crap like this. It's not gonna help you out, it's stupid. Anyways, there's an easy way to remember all these chords and it all starts with the root note. So we're gonna learn 100 chords in just a couple minutes here. It's super easy. We're gonna start right here with the fifth fret on the low E string. Now, this right here is an A, and it's gonna be our root note for all these shapes. Learning shapes is the easiest way to remember a bunch of chords. So, every shape we have is gonna start with this note, A. Most of the time, it's gonna be your index finger. Now, this shape right here, A major, you probably already know this. This is a regular bar chord, a major bar chord rooted on the E string. Now, what you may not know is the formula about getting that. It's taking the first, third, and fifth notes of the major scale. So the first, third, and fifth. Now even though it's not these notes, they're spread out all over here, as you can see. One, three, and five, some of them are repeated. Now all of this is gonna be a variation of major that you're gonna easily be able to remember. So here's shape one, major, okay? Doesn't matter what fret we're on, this is a G sharp, A flat, whatever. All the rules still apply. We're gonna stick right here on A. A major, if you lift your pinky up right here, just like this, what you're doing is you're playing an A7. Now that's short for A dominant 7, not to be confused with A major 7. All we're doing is we're adding the formula to the 1, 3, 5. We're adding a flat 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Not a major 7, not flat 7. Okay, so A major, A7. Now your pinky's just kind of roaming. We could do another one. We could add this note right here. This is a B. Again, it doesn't. Rem you don't have to know the names of all these notes. It's kind of helpful, but you don't need to know them. So if we just take this off A7, now this is an A9, which is still an A dominant 9. This being the ninth note, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Same difference, okay? So we got three chords off the same shape. Now we're going to stick in the major class to go to an A major 7. Now what I'm doing here is I'm skipping the A string entirely. I'm still rooted here, A major 7, we're going to add the 1, 3, 5, we're going to add the 7th note of the major scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's my root again, I think he's right behind it, and then my middle finger is on the B string, 5th fret. So 5, 6, 6, 5. I'm skipping the A string, that's going to give me a major 7 chord. Now a personal favorite of mine is a major 6 chord, it's the same thing. One, three, five, and a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we want this note here. A major six. These are all major class chords that we can do. A major. A seven. A nine. A major seven. A major six. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Five. Those are five chords we have right now, just all off of this one root note. Now, the opposite of A major would be A minor. You probably know a lot of that position. This bar chord position of an A minor, we can quickly talk about the definition. All it is is A major with a flat third. So, moving this note to here, right there. I'm just barring all of these. Now, if you're having trouble barring chords, you don't always have to bar the whole thing. You can actually take pieces of this. Or the top. Now this will give you a nice full sound. A minor. Now to make it A minor 7, you just lift your pinky up. Right there. A minor. A minor 7. Again, this pinky is just kind of free to roam. You can stick it on here. On the 9, just like we did with the A9. 
a minor nine, which is the chord that got us into this trouble in the first place. Right there, so A minor, A minor seven, A minor nine, A minor six, another really good one. And it's this A minor, which is the major scale with a flat third, one, two, three, that is the third, and we're adding the six to it. There we go, so we've got one minor chord, a minor seven chord, a minor nine chord, and a minor six chord. So, those are four minor class chords, five major class chords, one, two, three, four, five. And now if you want to do it, we just have to slide them up and down the neck, tracking the root note on the E string. So again, this is all A. Now if I want to do G, I would just start on a G. G major. G7. G9. G major 7. G major 6. Okay, now there are 12 notes in all of music. We can start here. First one, F. So F major, F7, on and on and on. F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B flat, B, C. So we have 12 different notes that we can root all these on. Now there are different voicings of it, stuff like this. Now besides the obvious, why do I need to know more chords? Well, women will like you dependent on how many chords you know. Everybody knows that. But you can really kind of spice up your playing, make things that used to sound boring sound kind of cool, like a, a regular progression, something like C major to D minor to A minor to G. So something just open chords. C, D minor, A minor, G. Now, anytime I have a major chord, I can substitute one of my other major class chords in there. So instead of playing regular old C major, I go down to the C root, and then maybe play a C major 7. So instead of C, D, A, G, I can just use any of these ones I learned. C major 7, to D, 6, minor 6, to A, minor 9, to G, 7. So instead of... something a little fancier. So to recap, basically by just knowing these few shapes, again I'm starting here, shape one, major, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You memorize nine chord shapes, you apply them to different roots, of which there are twelve, that's over a hundred chords, and you can just recall them by just finding the root note you want. If you want a B major something, just find a B, put it on there. And there you go, a hundred chords in just a few short minutes.